Welcome to another TIBCO video tutorial brought to you by Smarter Inc. This is Jason Semoliano, Senior TIBCO Architect for the company. In today's video, I will show you a graphical tool for TIBCO EMS, EMS or Enterprise Message Service. If you are already familiar with TIBCO EMS, this video will be useful to you. If you're not, I encourage you to watch one of my earlier videos where I show you how to send and receive JMS messages using TIBCO Designer and TIBCO EMS. And also go into the TIBCO.com website and take a look at what EMS is all about. So in today's video tutorial, I will show you a software called GEMS or Graphical EMS. GEMS is a free software that you can get from TIBCO software and I'll show you first how to get hold of that software and then secondly how to use that software to administer EMS. So let me move on then to that first objective to show you how to get a copy of TIBCO GEMS. Follow along with me to Google my favorite search engine here type in TIBCO EMS GUI. Simple enough. As of today, the shooting of this video, the first search result is this link to TIB community and this post called GEMS. So click on that and you will be taken to a post where you can download a copy of GEMS. However, you first have to log in if you don't have a login to this website, tibcommunity.com, you're supposed to register and then log in. So I encourage you to go register and log into this site. It's very useful. But for today's tutorial, we'll just talk about this particular post that you see here where you can get a copy of GEMS, this zip file that they made available for you. I already downloaded that and it's very simple. You just have you just download it and then you extract it to any directory in your hard drive wherever you wish for it to be located. I put it in my C drive and I already have it right here. There's no installation required. All you have to do is extract it. Once you extract it, you have this run gems.cmd. So I'm going to double click on that and it's going to start this graphical tool. Okay, so right uh, by default, it connects to your local EMS and you can connect it to other EMS servers by going to this server menu and you can go to new EMS server connection and you can connect to the URL and username and password to whatever EMS server you want to connect to. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to use my local EMS server that's installed in my laptop. So let's do some simple stuff such as create a queue. Let's start with that. Let me show you how to create a queue. It's very simple. I click on queues here on the left side and then I go to the queues menu and then I create a queue. I'm going to call this one queue.test. Click OK and now I have a new queue called test. Very simple. And then I'm going to create a topic. I'm going to go to the topics on the left. I'm going to go to topics menu, create topic. I'm going to say topic.test. Simple enough. Okay. As you can see, it's very simple to administer your EMS objects using this graphical tool. Your other previous options were the TIBCO EMS admin tool, which is a graphical, uh, not a graphical, but a command line tool that you can use to administer your EMS objects, which is a little bit harder to use, but very powerful nevertheless. But with this graphical tool here, GEMS, as you can see, it's very simple to get around and create and manipulate EMS objects. So let me show you how to, let's, for example, take that topic that we just created and let's create a bridge to the queue that we just created. So we created topic.test, we created queue.test. Let's create a bridge from topic.test to queue.test. If you don't know what a bridge is, I have a 
earlier video as well where I show you how to create bridge, bridges using EMS. This, I believe it's called uh, creating destination bridges with EMS. So let's do it here using gems. I clicked on the topic.test and under bridges I say create bridge. As you can see it selected topic.test as a source topic. The target will be a queue type and the target destination I'm going to click here and then I'm going to look it up. I'm going to select queue.test click OK no need for a selector in this one click OK and now I have a bridge coming from topic.test going to queue.test very nice so let's go ahead and send a publish a message to the topic and let's see if it goes to the queue it's supposed to if you have a bridge from the topic to the queue so let me show you how to do that using gems and this is very nice we use this a lot in our consulting work to publish messages here so let's go to topics I'm gonna go to topic.test from there I'm gonna go to topics menu I'm gonna say publish text message brings up this window where I can publish a message I'm just going to publish the text hello so I'm gonna click on publish it's gonna publish this text message into the topic okay so after it gets published to the topic it should go to the queue queue that test so let's take a look notice that we now have a pending message in queue dot test so you can also do other things here you can you can administer users you can create routes you can create durables you can do all sorts of things with typical gems and I just I just think right now as of today I, I feel like it's probably you know, the one of the better tools for administering EMS objects it's very easy to use it's very user friendly and everything is graphical instead of you having to type in command prompt commands so as you can see here it works very nicely and we use this a lot in our consulting work if you have to administer EMS objects and I've used this for previous clients as well so I encourage you to go once again into the TIB community website get hold of the software and then start playing around with it if you're if you haven't used this before I think you will gather a lot of benefit from using this you'll be able to administer your EMS objects much more quickly than if you were to use the command line tool so that's it for today this is Jason Samoyano showing you this new software called GEMS brought to you by TIBCO Software. This is a wonderful graphical tool that I think you should check out. So thank you for watching this video. I hope this has been useful to you. If you are a TIBCO consultant, TIBCO developer out there, I encourage you to do really good work for your clients and for your companies that you're working for and I want to wish you a wonderful day happy new year happy 2011 take care and have a wonderful day